I'm in Charlotte at the Academy of Coastal Carolina. I'm with Terry Cox, and she is the head of school here. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for being here. We're delighted. Okay, so the Academy of Coastal Carolina is a private Christian school. Yes. It's located here in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us the history of the school and how it was started. Okay. About 10 years ago, there was a group of people that met at the Red Apple Building just across the road that um, wanted to investigate and look into the possibilities of coming together and forming a private school. And uh, myself and three individuals got together. We hosted this event and we unveiled the vision that we had. And the vision was to have a top rated um, private school that could house students from kindergarten to um, 12th grade. We're going into our 10th year. This um, coming fall of 16 will be our 10 year anniversary. All right. Uh, walk us through a typical day of school here. Is it uh, different by grade? Does their elementary school kids have a different schedule than the high school kids and middle school kids? Okay. Um, we start our day with all of our students go to chapel first. And I think okay. I took you guys down to see our right. really cool chapel. And we start there, the whole school, all the students from kindergarten all the way through the 12th grade, as well as our preschool. After that, it's about a 15 minute chapel and then they go into their um, various parts of the school. We have it divided up with the um, early childhood department, elementary ed, and then the upper level um, go into the different parts of the building with their okay. instructors and with their teachers. Okay, when does the school day end and begin? Is it like a typical it uh, public is, school it sch is. Uh, time we, schedule? It is. We start at um, 7.50 and the school day ends at 2.30, and we also have an after-school homework assistant program. Okay, so if children need some after-school help and tutoring, Absolutely. that is available. Yes. Terry, what sets uh, the Academy of Coastal Carolina apart from uh, public school, and why would somebody choose to uh, send their child here for edu education? That's a great question. Um, many reasons. One reason is, we're able to look at each individual child. We're able to meet them where they are, and we have a staff where the ratio is four to one with a very highly qualified professional staff. Uh, we are able to use um, multi-sensory teaching, which means that we can use um, um, activities that they can feel, touch, sense, and it's like every year is a kin every class is kindergarten where you get to go in and really experience it. It's just an experiential learning process. We um, also have a lot of passion for what we do. What sets us apart is the time that we can spend with that individual child and get to know mm -hmm. them inside and out. And if you spend time around the school, you'll see that and sense that a lot of passion and we're able to be creative um, with with the process of each child we're also able to use the latest technology which really um, enhances our program we have uh, the latest software the bells and whistles of the technology that's been used now in the school systems that has kind of helped us to even go beyond what we initially started to do. It's a right. great time to be in education. Right. And um, I tell the students, we really work on character education and teaching them and helping them to understand that, to take the lid off, to take the lid off where they can grow and be. And, and hopefully they will buy into that, that they can be exactly what God created them to be. And we try to help um, provide those tools for mm -hmm. them through a loving, supportive staff. And I know that art is another big thing that you do here to yes. uh, help children learn. Yes. Uh, touch on that and what do you do in the, in the arts? Okay. Uh, we have uh, the, a great fine arts program with, uh, we have an art teacher where they're doing uh, different types of art from uh, chalk drawing to acrylic paint, pottery. We also, uh, to enhance our fine arts program, we uh, participate with dramas, musicals, uh, right. We have uh, kinder education, kinder music with a certified kinder music teacher, as well as um, art appreciation as one of our um, electives for our high school program. And we uh, find that marrying art, fine arts, really also it's been proven that it helps with science and math skills. And um, so we spend a lot of time in that. I know there are lots of 
a lot of parents out there that uh, really want to send their children to a, uh, to get a private uh, school education, mm -hmm. but uh, their their children want maybe want to do sports. Yeah. And I know that you were telling me that you all have really poured a lot into an athletic program mm -hmm. and are really <laughs> developing that. So tell us a bit about that. Okay, that's really exciting. Yes. That has been a dream since day one. Um, as a person who loves sports and gets pretty fired up about it. Um, <laughs> we felt like this was the next step. We want to grow to the next phase of the academy. Again, we've been 10 years, we've, we're have we developing who we are as a school, and again, who we are as a school is looks at that individual child, but we also now want to stretch out beyond and help them to have the opportunity to experience team sports as well as club sports. Some of the sports that we've had this year, we've been very competitive, is <laughs> um, archery, and hopefully okay. got, you guys will get to see some yeah, of that well, before we, you leave. Yeah, we were able to see um, Our them coach, do that today. Yes, okay. Yeah, we're excited about that. We also had um, boys and girls uh, basketball this past year. We were able to compete right. with schools from Wilmington, Whiteville, uh, mm -hmm. Myrtle, the North Myrtle Beach area. It was so exciting. The parents mm -hmm. got behind it. Uh, it was just great. It, it went beyond what we even imagined. Cross country, again, we were very competitive and called cross country and we're going to introduce our first golf team <laughs> at the end of this school year. It's big so around here. It is big yeah. around here. And this is the first year. This is the first year and it's been, it's exceeded our expectation. Oh yeah, I think that for somebody who has a child who's very young, mm -hmm. you know, three, four years old, mm -hmm. that is looking to, um, you know, to see the next step for education right. in the elementary years, uh, athletics is something they want, they're, they're considering. And it also brings me uh, to another thing I'd like to ask you. Uh, for a parent who has a child of that, that age and they're looking to you know, get their child started with school, uh, where do does the, the Academy of Coastal Carolina, Carolina see um, where they're going to be come 10 years from now? That's a really good Because you know, they're going to think you're, if you have your child here from you know, age five on up, uh, where are you going to be in while well, they're in middle school mm -hmm. and so forth? Right, right. You know, those without a vision with it will perish. So mm -hmm. that is part of our vision is to expand our program and in several ways that we've mm -hmm. expanded is starting with the three-year-old program. That was quite a need. And right. so we um, have a very healthy three-year-old program that um, started this year. We're going to expand that. And then we want to grow with those families because that's one of the questions when they call, they say, well, what do we do when it hits middle school? What do we do when we get into high school? Mm -hmm. So we've got the right team together now. We've got a team that we can really, with, with the staff, with our board of directors, we're operated by a board of directors. They know that Brunswick County is in great need of this of an alternative. So we're looking to the future of having our own campus, uh, starting with a building campaign for the future. Okay. We've been able to grow here at um, this current location. It's been wonderful. Um, but the vision has been and remains to have our own campus where we can have um, the sports fields right. and, and eventually, absolutely, and eventually get into football. I mean, the oh, sky's yeah. the limit because, um, you know, and, and that's what we want to do. And it's, it started small, but we've been yeah. able to determine who we are. And um, with that, um, we've got the visions pretty clear. I also want to ask you about high school. Mm -hmm. uh, that's another thing that you have here, it's not just elementary, mm -hmm. uh, but also middle and high school. Right. It's a teacher-led high school. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Well, it's teacher-led and technology-based. Okay. We have been able to have this high school program because of the use of technology, but the way, but also we have certified, qualified teachers that can teach certain subject led, um, Subject uh, matter. Yes, yes. So we have um, a teacher-led math class science class. We also have um, a, a teacher-led Bible history class, music appreciation class, but the way we're able to meet those high school students where they are if a student needed to have an accelerated class or an advanced level class. 
then we're able to use the gift of technology and some of the online learning, which they're even doing that in colleges right now, that they're getting a dose of what a college situation is going to be like. Right. But you have a teacher, a qualified, certified teacher that is working side by side mm -hmm. with them, but we're able to use some of the great resources with technology right. out there to make sure they're getting the coursework so they don't get behind. They can be college right. ready. All right. Terry, yeah. thank you so much for joining us today. Before we leave, uh, I'd like to get your contact information okay. here at the Academy of Coastal Carolina okay. website and phone number and all that. Okay. Our website is www.theacademyedu.com. And our phone number is 910-754-9637. And we're located at Calvary Baptist Church. Okay, so that's on Village Road. Village Road. In Shalot. Yes. Okay, so right near uh, past Food Line and yes. across from Thread Apple that's Building. That's right. And right beside Briar Wood Golf Bowl. Okay. Okay, Terry Cox, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure you. meeting with you thank here today. You. Thank you.